Okay, what is patience? We cringe at the word, do we even know what it is? Well, it means to wait, but it means so much more than to wait. Let me tell you something, you will wait. We spend more time in our life waiting on something than we do those moments when we receive and get all excited because that gets over pretty quick and then you start waiting on something else again. <laughs> Took me about 40 years to figure that out and I finally thought I better, I better improve my waiting game because <laughs> I did not wait well. So if you don't wait well, you're gonna have a pretty miserable life. How many of you agree you're always waiting on something? It, I mean, that's just part of life. And so he says, wait patiently. So patience is, it, it's more than waiting, it's the attitude that we wait with. Now, I want to get this, it's waiting with expectancy. Waiting with, wow, something good is going to happen. Maybe today my breakthrough is going to come. Today, my son may make a decision to get off of drugs. Today. You know, I learned something recently. I read this, and man, it just blew up in me. And this is so cool. It said, when we pray for people, <laughs> what God does, God is so smart. What God does is he puts a thought in their head so I can say, um, I pray for so-and-so to study the Word. Well, then they may have this thought, you know, I, I probably should start studying the Word. Well, the cool, now they still get a choice. You know, your prayers don't make somebody do something, but God puts thoughts in their mind of what you've prayed for. Then, if they do it, they're silly enough to think it was their idea. Isn't that cool? And so we just need to leave it alone and let it be between them and God. And you know, then when they come and tell you about their breakthrough, you don't even need to bother to say, I prayed for that. <laughs> Me, I prayed for that. <laughs> just let them think it was them if, if you need to. But isn't that great? We pray for things and God puts ideas. And a lot of times when we, when we pray for something about ourselves or for God to speak to us, he puts thoughts in our head. The Bible says that he will cause our thoughts to become agreeable to his will. Wow. So, we need to expect something good to happen. Expect something good is gonna happen. Things can change at any minute. I'm waiting patiently. To wait on the Lord means to look and long for him to show up at any minute. So waiting on God is not just like. <laughs> There's an inner expectancy. All right. James 5, 7, so be patient, brethren, as you wait. Please notice it doesn't say if you wait. <laughs> I mean, you see that. Be patient as you wait till the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits, how? Expectantly. For the precious harvest from the land. Now, this is important too. See how he keeps up his patient vigil over it until it receives the early and the late rain. So we all have a vigil <laughs> that we need to keep up. I'm gonna keep praying. I'm gonna keep confessing the word. I'm gonna keep studying the word. I'm gonna keep getting with other good people that can keep me encouraged. I'm gonna keep giving into kingdom work. I'm gonna keep being a blessing everywhere that I go. I'm gonna keep trusting God. I'm gonna keep rebuking the devil. You say, well, I, I've been doing that, and I'm so tired of doing that. Well, can I ask you a question? Do you really have anything better to do? <laughs> I 
I mean, have you got even one small bright idea that would be any better than just continuing on with God? Your only other choice is going back where you came from. Who in the world wants to do that? If you made it this far, don't go back where you started. Come on, God is good. Amen. 